Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking about The World's Really Behind by AF Harold, which I received an advanced ebook copy of from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. Let's begin. The World's Really Behind is a story about friendship, retribution and finding the strength to face down monsters aimed at younger readers who enjoyed Stranger Things. Enraged at how unfair life is, Hex runs into the woods and finds himself in a strange clearing that can't possibly exist, where a strange old woman offers him a deal. To rid the world of those who wronged him. All he has to do is accept and now be forgotten forever, but what Hex doesn't know is that someone else has been offered the same deal. When Hex's best friend Tomo wakes up the next day, half-whispered memories make him think that something or someone is missing from his life. He sets out to find a way to put the world back the way it was, or find a way to make a new world that will be better for them all. This book was a wonderful read on so many levels for both middle grade and older readers. It has an almost nostalgic quality that both left me confused about which decade this book is set in and respects in the timeless feel. The illustrations are beautiful and haunting and are a perfect reflection of the book's mood. It truly does evoke the atmosphere and the themes of Stranger Things and also reminds me of select Neil Gaiman works. I think this book could have benefited from being longer. The page count is incredibly limited from the amount of repetition that occurs in the plot and I was desperate for some new scenes as a break from reading the parts that I'd already read. The repetition is impactful with the events that are occurring but I just wanted more, more development to the main characters, more reasons to care about the side characters, more scenes that weren't directly related to the main plot. I usually try to refrain from commenting on the format of the e-arc because I know it's not a representation of the final product but the formatting did severely impact my reading experience. Whole paragraphs were missing in places, I can only assume that they were covered by the images and pages appeared to be in the wrong order at one point. I look forward to having the chance to read a physical copy of this book in the future so I can appreciate the illustrations in all their glory and not feel so lost about what went on in those missing sentences. I gave this book three stars on that galley, but I'd probably rate it as like a 3.5. That's all I have to say about this book. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.